Lockhart Radio. In 2020, the Korea Superconducting Tokamak Advanced Research K-Star, a superconducting fusion device, also known as the Korean Artificial Sun, set the new world record as it succeeded in maintaining the high temperature plasma for 20 seconds with an ion temperature of over 100 million degrees Celsius. In 2023, the Korean Artificial Sun K-Star has completed the diverter upgrades, allowing it to operate for extended periods, sustaining high temperature plasma over the 100 million degrees mark. The Korea Institute of Fusion Energy announced the successful installation of the newly developed tungsten diverter for K-Star. K-Star, now equipped with the new diverter, commenced a plasma experiment on the 21st of December, 2023. The diverter, a crucial plasma-facing component, installed at the bottom of the vacuum vessel in a magnetic fusion device known as a tokamak, manages the exhaust of waste gas and impurities from the reactor, and also endures the highest surface heat loads. This is why it's important to develop and deploy a diverter that is highly heat resistant. Initially, K-Star had a carbon diverter, but for K-Star's enhanced performance and prolonged operations at 100 million degrees Celsius, the heat flux exceeded the limit of the carbon diverter. Now, April 2024, the experimental reactor called K-Star in Dijon, Korea, has set a new world record. The massive donut-shaped device, which has been dubbed Korea's artificial sun, ran at 100 million degrees Celsius or 180 degrees Fahrenheit for 48 seconds. To put that in perspective, that's seven times hotter than the sun's core. Engineers in South Korea have pushed the boundaries of nuclear fusion by setting the new world record for maintaining plasma. Plasma is one of the four states of matter, the others being liquid, gas, and solid, with examples being lightning and the sun. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief.